start and standing as I said. Okay. Let's see if you can see me. Okay, so we're going to start with just uh, standing feet under the hips. Okay, to begin. And we're going to just do hip circles. So I want you to bring your right leg into a 90 degree angle. And I want you to slowly bring it out away and then bring it right around. We're just going to circle the hips slowly and control. What I want you to feel is that your core is engaged here to stabilize you and try not to shift your hip on the opposite side. Okay, so nice standing leg as well. So really focusing on keeping those hips strong and stable and not kicking out that other hip. Okay, so big circles. All right, not touching the floor with the foot. We want a bit of balance coming in here, a bit of proprioception. And just a little tension through the stomach, throw that belly button to spine. Okay, we're just gonna do two more. Good. And one more. And bring it back into that 90 degree angle. And we're gonna go the opposite way. So bring the foot down towards the floor, open it out, and back around. Feel a nice little bit of clunking going on in the hip, clicking at the hip mobile. Okay. Breathing, don't forget to breathe. And really engage in that standing leg. So squeezing the glute of that standing leg, okay? Good. Three more. Two more. Good. And one more. Okay, from there, just place that foot down and we'll go with the opposite side. Make sure your feet are back underneath the hips. Squeeze the glute and bring that other leg to, to 90 degrees. You can relax the foot. Open the leg out. Down and back around, keeping the hips facing forward. So no, what I mean by that is don't bring one hip back further than the other or one hip forward, okay? Try and keep them parallel. And if you want to place your hands on your hips, just to feed into that. Good. You will feel like you're a little bit more restricted on one side. And that's okay. We generally have one hip weaker than the other. Okay, we're gonna keep it up at 90. Drop the foot down towards the floor and open it up and back around the opposite direction, okay? Big circles. Don't forget about the standing leg also. Okay, Well, that belly button to the spine. Good. Well done. We're doing a good bit of hip work at the start. Okay. Give me one more, please. And bring it down. Okay. From there, going back to the first leg, so the right leg, we're going to point the toes and elevate the leg. So the leg is lifted off the floor, nice straight line with the leg. And we're going to circle again the hips with the foot, thinking that there's a pen sticking out of your big toe, and you're drawing nice, controlled circles. Okay. Bring your arms up over your head. And just to challenge yourself a little bit more. Okay. One more, and then go the opposite way. Good. Nice and tall from the crown of the head, also. Why don't you bring the chin forward? One more, and bring that leg down. Well done. Opposite leg. Extend and lift. Nice straight line. Draw that kneecap up and contract the quads a little bit, guys. And nice circles again, right from the arms in the air, like you just don't care. Keep going. Well done. One more. And bring it back to center, opposite way. If there's a lot of shifting going on in the hips, please go smaller with your circles, okay? Four, three, two, one. Place it down. Get a nice bit of burning going on in the hip flexors. I want you to straighten that opposite leg again, the original one, the one we just did at the start. And we're going to lift and lower, starting on the right leg again. Okay. And try not to tuck the pelvis, okay? What I mean by that is if you lift your leg too high, your bum tucks underneath you. I don't want that. So place your hand on your lower spine. And just feel into what's happening here, okay? Want a nice neutral pelvis and just lift and lower from here. So try not to tuck under with your bum. Okay? One more. 
and change sides, okay? Extend and nice standing leg as well. Contract the standing leg, lift and lower. And again, keeping a nice neutral pelvis. Again, if I go too far, you see my pelvis position change. I don't want that. Okay, control. Okay, keep going. Give me two more, one more, and relax down. Okay, from there, guys, nice wide stance. Stance. Okay, do a squat position. So your feet are going outwards, and your legs are wider than hip distance apart. I want you to drop down, bring your knees away. So make sure your knees are tracking towards your toes. So just have a little look down, and if they're not. Just try and come up a little bit higher, but bring the knees out wider, okay? Sometimes when you go down too low, your arches collapse and it brings your knees in. So don't go down so low if you find that it's changing the position. So just rocking side to side, okay? And then what I want you to do is when you lean to your right side, extend the left leg. And when you lean to your left, extend the right slowly. We're getting a little stretch in on the adductors here. Good. Well done. Give me four more. Gently locking out the knee. Don't lock out too hard. Okay. And last one. Okay. From here, guys, bring your feet a little bit closer. So just hip distance are slightly wider. And we're going to squat down. And then you're going to come up, but you're not going to come up all the way. You're going to keep the knees bent. Okay. So we're not uh, straight in the legs at any stage. Okay. Keeping a slight, keeping the knees soft at all times, okay? Good. No locking out the knee. Keep going, please. I'm just showing you different angles so you can see what I'm talking about. Hard to see it in these black pants. <laughs> okay. And we're going to hold it down and we're going to pulse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And up and down again as we did. Not all the way, don't knock out the knees. Back with a bang, lads. <laughs> Good. Well done. Again, not locking out the knees. I want the knees bent. Give me two more. One more. Okay, from there, go wider with your feet. Okay, again, slightly wider than hips. Hands behind the head. We're going to squat down. You're going to come up onto your left leg. And then you're going to bring your elbow to your right knee. Bring it down. Squat uh, onto your right. And crunch with your abs, okay? Squat. Good. Well done. So you're bringing that elbow down towards your knee. And we're getting the abs in here as well. That's the glutes, quads, hamstrings. Two more. And relax in. Okay, from there, we're going to go wide with our feet again. Do move squat position. And come down into a nice squat. Try and bring your arse parallel to the floor and just hold this position. Think nice and tall with your back. So if you're leaning forward, I want you to push up. Try and lengthen through that spine. Crown of the head. Lift it, okay? The chin down. Try to lift the neck. Parallel to the mat with the chin as well. And softly coming up halfway and come back down. Again, we're not locking out the knees, we're keeping a bend in the knees. And just be aware of where your knees are tracking, okay? As I said to you before, if you need to come higher, please do so, because everyone's feet are different. And as I said, if your feet collapse in, your knees collapse in. Two more, one more, and come back. Well done. From there, guys, we're gonna hit the mat. All right. Bring you a little bit closer to me. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Okay, so coming on to your back, please. And you're starting with some ab work. So lying down at the mat, please. And just rock your pelvis before we begin. So I want you to imprint and release, okay? So locking that lower back down and then roll onto the, the base of your spine, arching your back, just rocking back and forth. Breathing in as you lift your ribs towards the ceiling, exhaling as you bring yourself into imprint. And Good. Anyone that took a break, you will definitely feel a little bit weaker today. You took the week off, Pilates. I did nothing for the week. That's incredible how quickly you start to lose that bit of strength and agility. But it comes back quick as well. So sometimes when you do the same thing over and over and over and over again, your body gets used to it. So it's important to take that break in anything that you're doing and then go back to it. And your body gets that shock again and starts to reap the benefits, okay? So just keep rocking for two more. And okay, maintaining that imprint position, please. We're gonna bring left leg to tabletop and other leg to meet it. Keeping the space between the knees, please. Hands behind the head. We're gonna take an inhale here and on the exhale coming into an ab prep position. And as you come into this ab prep, or crunch, I want you to draw the belly down, kind of to push it up. So if you've got like a kind of a doming position with your stomach, just bring the belly button towards the spine, activate the abs, push the rib cage down as well, okay? We're gonna inhale as we lower down, and exhale to come back up. Weight of your head into your hands, please. So there's no stress on the neck. And I don't want you pulling on your head because what happens is your chin comes down to your chest and you start straining the back of the neck, okay? The weight of the head is in your hands. Trust, trust yourself to support your head. Not that. <laughs> okay, and keep your feet nice and relaxed. No tension in the ankles of the feet. And breathing out as you come up. Because if you've taken a break for the week, you might feel like a little shaky, shaky going on. That's completely normal. Your nervous system is just getting used to it, okay? We're gonna hold up here on the next one, okay? Elbows back. And I want you to slowly kind of come down with your elbow towards your left side of your body with your left elbow. You're crunching to that side, back to center, and then move along the floor to the right side. So it's like you're wiping the floor with your shoulder blades, left and right, okay? Like window wipers, slow and controlled. You're staying up in that ab crunch position and just going left and right staying in that same position, okay? Not altering the crunch, keeping your head where it is, legs and table. Slow and control. Just think with your elbows, you're leading with your elbows, I'm gonna bring them down in the direction of the hip area. Good. Two more. Again, where's your head? Make sure it's rested. Lovely. Just bring your head down for a moment. Hands down by your side. I want you to bring your knees and ankles together. Okay, relax the feet again. We're gonna bring the knees towards our chest. Bring them nice and close. Okay, so your thighs towards your stomach. As you do, your bum will lift off the floor. Okay, lower part of your spine. Then I want you to slowly, slowly bring your lower spine back onto the, the mat and bring the legs away. Lightly, just past the hips. Again, bringing them forward towards your torso. Feel your lower spine lifting off the mat, controlled. I don't want you pushing in with your hands or jumping up. I want it, your abs to do the work. Good. Okay, slowly bringing. If you're not sure, just look at me for a moment. And come back. All the abs, all abs. Good. A really nice burner, this one. Well done. The 
don't, when you bring your legs away, try not to arch your lower back. So you want to kind of keep that imprint. So you only go as far away as that imprint can maintain. Okay. I'm gonna go for one more, please. Lovely stuff. Legs and tabletop, arms go wide, knees and ankles together. And we're doing spinal rotation. So bringing your legs to the left side of the room, your right hip will lift slightly. I don't want you bringing your legs to the floor. Bring back to center. So kind of go halfway between starting position and the floor. Bring them to the right. Good. Center. And to the left. Breathing, exhaling. Really feel the stomach muscles on the side working here, the oblique. Okay. And obviously the main center of the muscles, the rest of the balance have to work as well. Stabilize you as you roll back into imprint each time. Good. Really nice one. I'm gonna do one more exercise with this one in this position, and then I'll give you a bit of the rest. Okay. Back to center here. Stay as you are, hands back down by your sides. Knees and ankles stuck together. Bring your knees slightly towards you. Bring them to the right side of the room. You want to go wide at your hands, you can if you feel that you're not stable. And to the left, drawing circles with the knee. Okay, again from the hip. Legs moving together in one. Good. Keep an eye on the position of your knees. Okay, if you go too far, that, um, Let's say you move to the right, your right knee will go a lot higher than the left. I don't want them going too much higher. So don't go too far to the right or to the left. You kind of want to keep those legs really stuck together. Time these twins, okay? Um, one more this way. Oh, we're going the opposite direction. You should be burning. Good, good. Brace it. It is your friend. Keep going. Breathing. Feet are nice and relaxed. There should be no tension in those feet. They're just there for the ride. Nice and relaxed. Okay, four more. Good. Three. Two. And one more. Well done. Permission to bring your knees to your chest and hug yourself. Okay, well done. That was easy. Or maybe it was for some. Okay, from there, I want you to bring your right knee into your chest and I want you to extend your left leg and elevate it off the floor slightly. Okay. We're going to lower and lift that leg down and up. So extend the leg. The other leg stays nice and tight in against you. Yourself. I want a neutral pelvis. So as you bring your leg up, just feel what's happening in that lower back region. Okay. I don't want it going into the floor. Again, I want that pelvis neutral, so it's completely level. And I don't want your pelvis tucking. Okay. Keep it nice and level. You know it's tucking if you feel your lower back going on the floor. If that's the case, just don't go so high with your leg. Give me one more. Good, bend the leg, bring the other leg down to the floor and then swap over. Bring that knee in towards your chest, lovely, and extend the opposite leg nice and long and elevate it off the floor, okay? We're gonna lift and lower. This is a really good one because what's happening here is you're taking the other leg out of the equation, you're not pushing into the floor with your foot. Completely hip flexor dominated. And that right leg is doing a lot of work, okay? Again, bringing awareness to your lower back and pelvis. Try and bring shoulder blades back. Your head, if you need something under your head, you need to put under. Just connect. Show that by now, though. Give me one more. Lovely. Bring that other knee into your chest. Hug your knees. And let's rock on your spine side to side. Bring both feet onto the floor, feet hip distance apart, okay? 
hands down by your side. If you have anything under your head, you can take it out. Okay. And same goes for ponytails like my own. Get them away sometimes. So we're going to bring ourselves into bridge position, please. Okay. And we're going to come back down. And what I want you to focus on is just bringing the pelvis down to meet the floor first, not your spine. Okay. Keeping the spine lifted. The pelvis is the first thing to leave. That's the first thing to meet the floor again. So basically the base of your spine. Okay. Lift and lower. Think about your backside leading this movement. Okay. And as you push through, you're feeling it on your lower back. Okay. If you have any issues in your lower back, don't go so high. Just go far enough where you can feel your bum act. Okay. Um, don't go so high, please. You don't want to go so high where you're uh, pressing the skin. So, anyone with back issues, don't go so high. Well done. Just really being aware of that glute activation when you do push through. Good. One more. I want you to walk your heels a little bit closer to your bum. Start to cramp, come out of it, okay? Your knees are in line with your hips, okay? Your legs are in line with your hips. Keeping your feet grounded, I want you to slowly bring your knees away. Keep your toes down, all toes. Your big toe does not lift as those legs go away. And you slowly bring it back. Visualize there's a bit of resistance meeting the inner parts of your leg, like a big ball, and you're pushing against that ball, okay, as you bring those legs together. Where you don't, uh, you bring your legs back in line with your hips. You're not meeting with your legs, are not meeting. Okay. Inhale as you go wide, keep the hips completely level, they do not drop. Exhale, bring them both together. And as those legs go apart, keep those toes down. Big toe does not lift. If it lifts, you're going to. Give me three more. Good. One more. Lovely. Staying where you are, we're going to lift and lower our heels. So both heels come up together and then come back down together. Okay. Lift and lower, resting on the lower part of your shoulder blades. Again, if you're suffering with your back, just bring your bum a little bit closer to the floor. Okay. Good. Lift and lower. Four more. Three. One. One. Walk your feet out, back in line under your knee. Okay. I'm bringing that left leg to tabletop. I'm going to lower and lift the foot for ten. Nine. Hold on. Eight. Seven, six, four, one, last, and one. And we're going to change over. So when you are changing, just make sure that your legs are in line with your hips before you begin. And bring that other leg up. Make sure your are level off the lower knee. Three more, two, one, bring it down. Okay, again with your feet, make sure they're completely level. I'm gonna slowly roll our spine onto the mat one vertebra at a time as you release out of this bridge position. Bring your knees into your chest and hug your knees as close as you can and rock on your spine side to side. Okay, okay we're coming onto our side. I want you to lie down, nice straight line, okay? Resting your head down. I want you to bend your top leg and I want you to bring your foot back towards the, the wall or the door behind you, okay? So the tabletop position, nice degree angle with the leg. Your both knees are in line. And now what I want you to do is I want you to tuck your pelvis. So when you do this position, your back will arch. Now I want you to tuck your pelvis. So as if you're imprinting your spine, and really activate the abs here, okay? Keeping the leg in line with your hip, hand down in front, sorry, to stabilize you. Once you get into that position, we're gonna bring that knee towards us, and then you're gonna slowly come back, slightly behind your hips, squeezing the glute. 
Inhale, bring that knee forward. Exhale, bring it back. And you're just bringing it back slightly past the, the other leg, okay, behind the other leg and squeezing that glute. And it needs to be a controlled movement because if you do it too quickly, you won't get that contraction in the bum. And what will happen is you'll push too far forward at your hip and uh, affect your lower back. So again, keeping that pelvis slightly tucked and not feeding into the lower back. Keeping the leg in line with your hip. Three more. Okay, bringing that leg in line with your knee again. Straight leg on the bottom, bent knee on the top. We're going to lift and lower that leg, top leg. Good. And again, try not to push your hips forward, tucking them slightly so you feel it in the glute and not in your lower back. Good. One more. Okay, keep the leg in line with your hip. We're going to bring our leg up and circle forward and back around for 10, 9, 8. I know we're kind of supporting yourself with that hand that's down the floor, but just trying not to feed into the shoulders too much. I know it's quite hard not to be mindful of your, your shoulders and your neck. Circling. You're feeling this in your backside a little bit now. Okay. Two more. And one more. Lovely. Extend that leg straight. And we're going to lift and lower for 10. Hold up. Eight. So, a little bit of a burn in that backside right now. More hold and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And relax that leg down, rolling onto your back. We'll do the other side in a moment. Okay, I want you to bring your hands behind you, feet in line with your hips. Okay, if you need to bring your fingertips away, do so, whatever feels comfortable. Okay, if you're anyway double jointed in your uh, elbows and your joints basically elbows uh wrists shoulders just be mindful okay so we're going to do like a reverse kind of bridge we're going to go nice long line extend the legs straight open the chest keep the toes down okay pushing through the hips and looking up at the ceiling holding nice long line breathing for three two one bend the knees and come down softly bring the fingertips forward towards you okay bend the knee a little bit more slightly forward feet slightly forward of your knees okay fingertips facing your torso or your body to the back side we're going to lift the bum up we're going to go for tricep dip okay i'm going to lower and lift bending through the elbows good We can. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Well done. Last two. One. And coming down. And we're going to roll onto our other side. Eight. Okay. Nice long line. And remember what I said, tucking the pelvis slightly. So I'm not pushing the stomach forward. Bring the ribs down. Activate the stomach. Okay, pelvis underneath the rib cage, bend the leg, okay, and keep the bottom leg straight. Okay, the other leg, your knees are completely parallel, and we're going to bring that knee forward and then bring it back. So, as you bring the leg back, make sure your foot is open actually, not pointing the toes. Imagine that you're trying to flatten something on the wall behind you with your foot, okay. And just go far enough behind the hip where you feel a little contraction in the glute. Definitely my clunky hip. <laughs> Make two more. Good. 
Okay. Bring both knees back in line with each other. Okay. I'm going to lift and lower that top leg. Again, keep bringing awareness to the abdominal region. Okay. And try and relax the shoulder as much as you can. And stay as relaxed as possible. Good. Visualize the ball at the back of your knee and you're trying to hold onto that ball. Okay. Just give me one more. Good. And then bring your leg back in line with your hip. We're going to bring the knee up, forward, and around. We're going to circle this leg. As you bring your leg back, make sure to extend through a little bit through the hip, squeeze the glute, and then bring it forward again. Okay. Control. Not about how fast you're doing it, guys. In fact, I'd rather you go slower. So you get a nice, slow, controlled, contracted glute movement, okay? And I don't want any instability going on, so I want nice, strong core here, working through this movement, okay? Don't be relying on that arm to support you too much. Good, one more. Lovely stuff, okay? Extending that leg straight. And lift and lower. Five, four, three, and two, and one, and hold and hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, okay, coming onto your front knees. Okay, thought you were getting away without any press ups, but I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so coming onto your knees, everybody. I want a narrow stance with the arms actually. Okay, what I mean is that your hands are directly under your shoulders, your elbows are going to go back rather than out. Okay, we're getting a lot more kind of tricep deltoid. Uh, working here okay so coming down slowly and back up we'll just do 10 of these okay now your elbow should be nice and tight in against the waist nice straight line from your head to your knees three two one more it's coming down onto the floor. I want you to rest your hands on top of each other and then rest your forehead on top of your hands, okay? I want uh, both knees elevated so you're contracting your quads and you're squeezing your glute. From here, you're going to lift your left leg, lower lifting it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one, and we're going to change sides. When you're doing this, guys, bring awareness to your hip bones, okay? And just make sure that you're not hip hiking too much on one side, so you're not lifting to compensate, okay? So both hips are completely level. Well, near enough, okay? You'll have a slight deficit on one side, but you shouldn't feel too much of a lift. So we're lifting lower the opposite side, please. Don't feed into the lower back. A very small movement, but very effective. One more. Okay. Tuck the toes, please. Hands under your shoulders. And we're going to come into plank position. Okay, nice high plank. Tuck the toes. Squeeze the glute. Legs can be together, slightly apart. Draw the shoulder blades away. Eye line down on the floor. I want you to come forward onto your toes. And then coming back, pushing your heels away. Forward and back. Position of your body doesn't change, just the ankles moving. Forward and back. Four, three. This is too much in your wrist, just hold the plank. And one, coming down onto your knees softly. And back into press up position. Okay, wider with the hands this time. Okay, and we're going for 12 reps. When you're ready, well, good. Left. Next. 
chapter five. Good. Two and one. Coming back onto your belly, please. Bring the arms nice and long and bring your feet slightly wider. Okay, under your hips, squeeze the glute. Take an inhale here, eye line down, keep the hands on the floor and on the exhale, I want you to lift both legs off the floor, your hands stay down. We're lower them back down and gently lift back. Hands stay planted on the floor. If it's too much, you can bring your hands down by your side. Okay. Three more. Two. The last one. Very good. Tuck the toes, place your hands underneath you. And we're coming into plank position again, please. Okay, holding, squeeze the glutes, push the heels away. Bring your left knee in, touch it down, bring it back, okay? Bring it right in, rest your body, like rest your knee down on the mat, push back as you break down back. Bring it right in, rest down, push back. Three more, two, one. Place the knees down, last set of presses, getting hot now. And we're gonna stick with the wide ones, please. And you can go on your knees if you want or into the full presses. When you're ready, and go for 12, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, well done. Four, three, last two, and one. Going back onto the floor, please. Arms long, contract the quads. We're going swimming. Eye line down at the floor, open up the back of the neck. Take a breath in here, and on the exhale, lifting legs and arms off the floor. Start to move the legs and the arms up and down as if you're swimming and breathing. Try not to hold your breath. Get a nice little rhythm going here. No bend in the knee. For five, four, three, two, one. Just rest your head onto your hands. Take a moment, and we're going to do that again. Feel the heartbeat in your head. <laughs> Something. Okay, that always gets my heart. Take a breath in, and on the exhale, we're going to go back into swimming position. So lifting arms and legs together, and we're going to go again. I'm going to come over and have a look at you. Good. Well done. Lovely. Head down a small bit, Sorsha. Good. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax down, back into plank position, please. High plank. Okay, three, two, one, bump to ceiling, downward dog. And I want you to march the knees forward, getting a lovely stretch on the Achilles and the ankles. Good, for two more. Good. Staying as you are, bring yourself back into high plank, squeezing the bum as you come back into high plank. Coming back up with your bum ceiling, push the heels down, inhale, exhale, back into high plank. For three more. Last two. One more. Bend the knees. And come into shell stretch, please. Okay, after all that work on your lower back, 
nice deep shell stretch if you can. Okay, coming onto your elbows. All right, hands in prayer like position, please. Knees are under your hips, so have a little look under your body. Make sure your knees are under your hips. We're going to extend that left leg back, tucking the toes. Okay, and just see what's happening with the other side. Have a little look again, and then bring your eye line back to your hands. I'm going to lift and lower that straight leg. Up in the toes, so nice length through the back of the leg. Two, one. Place that foot down. Come onto your hands, please. Tuck your other toes as well. Hands under. If you come onto your wrist, you can come onto your fists if your wrists are at you, okay? Take an inhale here and on the exhale, lifting that knee up. And then go a little bit deeper. Bring it back down. Push the heel down of the straight leg. Three, two, one. Place that knee down. Place your hands and elbows back onto the floor. Keep that leg extended, please. We're not finished yet. Bring the leg up to 90 degrees. We're going to lower and lift that knee, bring the sole of the foot towards the ceiling. Eye line down at your hands, not underneath you. Three, two, one, place your knee down. We're going to go on to the other side, okay? So elbows down, extending that leg, tucking the toes, please. I'm going to lift and lower for 10, 9. Remember to breathe. 3, 2, 1. Place the toes down, tuck underneath you. Tuck the other toes if they're not already. Hands onto the mat. Okay. I like a half downward dog. <laughs> Okay, our one leg we're down, we're up. Push the heels down and come back down into leg pull front, touching your knee down each time. Three. Two. One more. Good. Place the knee down, other knee down, back onto your elbows, please. And lifting that leg to 90 degrees, lower lift. Eye line of your hands, please. Open up the back of the neck. Two, one, lovely stuff. Just a minute shell stretch, please. Wide with the knees, big toes together. Arms go long, and then sit back onto your feet. Rest your head down if you can. From there, guys, I'm going to get you to sit onto your heels okay we're just gonna do a spine twist okay normally you do it sitting on your back side but we're gonna start with this position okay so sitting onto your heels if you can if you need to tuck your toes you can do that or if you're finding it too hard on your knees place a pillow under your back side and sit back onto that okay um as i said sitting onto your heels basically for this one Arms are out by your side, okay? So I'm just giving you a little breather for a second. I want a nice, tall, straight spine. And I want you to kind of 
again tuck the pelvis just a small bit not too much and then bring the rib cage to sustain a little bit towards your pelvis activate your abs draw the belly button towards your spine bring the palms facing down okay you're going to take a breath in i want you to think nice and tall through the crown of your head inhale to stay on the exhale you're going to breathe out three times you want to watch for the first one so inhale exhale rotate inhale back to center and then you're going to go the opposite way breathing out three times and you're kind of moving three times to one side and three times to the other okay, as you breathe out those three times okay so we'll start together big breath in go into the left exhale inhale Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Back to center. Four more. Last two. One more. Back to center, place your hands onto your leg. Coming onto your right side, please. Okay, I want you to tuck your legs, so uh, bent knee, please. And we're gonna come onto our elbow, give our wrist a little break. And I want a straight line with your knees are slightly forward your hips, but not too much. Take an inhale here and only exhale, come into side plank, releasing that top hand, please. And then we're gonna push that leg up in line with our like star, okay? Going to reach the arm over our head and then bring it back down towards our leg. Breathing in, exhale. Breathing in, leg where it is. The leg up, and one more. And on the hip, bring that knee forward. Bring it back for five, four, three, two, one. Bring that leg down. Keep your knees together, hand in front and up towards the sky or on your hip, whatever you feel comfortable with. Lower the for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to roll over onto our other side. Ready? Okay, elbow onto the floor, please. Knees bent. Take a breath in. Make sure your elbow's directly under your shoulder as you come into that side plank position. Get comfortable first before you release the hand, okay? Release your leg. Again, make sure you're in the correct alignment. Keep the leg where it is. We're going to inhale as you reach over. Exhale, bring the hand back to the leg. Leg does not move. Leg do not move. Breathing as you reach over. Breathe, breathe in as your ribs lift up. Full inhale. Exhale. Last one. Hand on your hip. Bring that leg forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest the leg down. You can bring your hands to the ceiling or onto your hip, whatever you feel comfortable with, and lower lift for ten, nine, eight, seven. Last exercise. Five. Four, three, two, one, and come down. Well done. Come into a seated mermaid position, please. So bring that left leg on top of your, like your right left foot on your thigh, please. Sorry. Okay, and try and keep that leg down onto the floor as much as you can. And then reaching over, so if your left leg in front, reach over with your left arm. Try not to rotate the body forward. You want to keep it open. Nice stretch along the side. Good 
slowly come down and then reach on over again. Then I want you to come down towards the floor with your hand and then come back up. Make a nice kind of circle with the arm over. Reach towards the floor. Rub your hand along the floor and come back around. Starting and go one more. Mindful. Slowly get my stretch in the lower back. Okay, swapping legs, Pete. Okay. And reaching that arm over. Bring into it, holding the hand down. And then reaching over again. Bend the spine, flip the leg, find open it up. And then we're going to reach our hand towards the torso, get a lovely stretch right onto the lower back where it attaches onto the pelvis. And then bring your hand along the floor, bring it back to the starting position. Go in a circle with your hand. Bring it to a circle. <laughs> One more. Stuff. Okay, we're gonna come onto our knees. Okay, just do a little back out, a stretch. Okay, relaxing the pelvis. No, no tension held. Feet are nice and relaxed. Okay, if your wrists are sore again. You can come onto your fist. Okay, take an inhale here, and on the exhale, we're just gonna tuck the pelvis underneath us, drive the spine to ceiling, and then relax the head down. Feel the weight of the head pulling down towards the floor so there's no tension in the neck. And just rock your neck side to side, looking at your left elbow, looking at your right elbow, keeping that tension in your stomach, keeping that spine rounded, just relaxing the neck. Bring your head back to center, looking at your leg. Take an inhale here, and then on the exhale, I want you to bring your pelvis away, and then coming up, looking. Breath in and then exhale, tuck the pelvis, round through the spine, and then looking down at your leg. Inhale here, and then exhale, bring your pelvis away. From there, I want you to bring your legs onto the floor and keep your hands down at your shoulders. You're going to take an inhale here, and on the exhale, eye line down, and exhale, pushing into your hands. But I want you to keep your elbows, sorry, elbows down on the floor. So you get a gentle stretch in the stomach. If you feel that you want to go into extension of the arms, bring your hands forward. I don't want you to bring them in line with your shoulders and go straight arm. That's how you affect your back. So bring the arms forward straight and then go into a nice extension. Okay. Come down slowly, bend the elbows, rest your body down on the floor, take a breath in. And then exhale coming up again. And when you're in this position, take big breaths and try and breathe into the stomach so you get an extra little bit of a stretch onto the fascia, the abdominals and the hip vectors. One more. And slowly coming down. Last stretch, actually, I want you to do the hip vectors quickly. Bring your left leg in front of your right, leaning forward slightly. Bring in that right arm. If it's your right leg that's behind, bring that, that arm up into the sky. And then leaning towards the left side. So we're slightly leaning to the left. Okay. Slowly come out of that, guys. Just be mindful of your legs, your knees. And bring that other leg forward. Bring the other leg behind. And when you're ready, bring that arm into the sky. And then a gentle lean towards the opposite side. Five, four, three, two, one, and come back in. Well done, everybody. Come over and oh. hope you enjoyed. So just uh, unmute yourselves there if you can.